Hey everybody, it is December 30th, 2022, 6.49 p.m. episode 1950. And today, I was planning to do something else. I was planning to do an idea that I wrote down in my blog, which I'm afraid someone's going to see and steal because I think, swear to God, I think somebody stole yesterday's cartoon, so I think they'll fucking do that um, if they read the blog. That's the thing, cartoons just may not read the blog. They might just look at the cartoons and do that, but I swear to God, somebody stole yesterday's cartoon. I saw it today on Instagram. It pissed me off. I was going to do something else this morning on Southwest, but I might wait till tomorrow. Um, I got a couple other things that I like to do also, but... Uh, I actually kind of got this idea when someone yelled at me this morning, not yelled at me, they just like, I can't wait to see what you do in the Greta thing. And when sometimes when people do that on the Greta Thunberg, Andrew Tate thing, sometimes when people do that, it, it kind of puts pressure on me that, oh, I should do this topic. And I don't always do it because it's like, you know, I, I try to do what I think is the best thing to do. But then I thought, I probably should do something on that because I think it's pretty good. It's hilarious. It's great. And I don't think anybody else is going to touch it until, until at least after they see me do it. And uh, no, so reply to the invite thing that I just turned on. Um, so I decided to go with this and I got the idea really, really quick. And when I did, it just made me giggle, made me snicker a bit and stuff. So uh, Andrew Tate, this, this sexist asshole, really, really rich dude. He decides to troll Greta Thunberg, who's 19. This guy's 36. This is just, this is bullying and harassment. And she owned him. Um, so... You, you need to check. And then he got arrested because apparently he, he uh, gave away his location and, and, and he was warned by the police. So, yeah, good job, Greta. I, I was invited to uh, tomorrow's New Year's Eve, as you know, and I was invited to a party today. I, got, I had already been invited. Um, and uh, I, they invited me and, and I hadn't really replied to it. And then I got the phone call and they were like, well, come and get you. Uh, you don't have to take the, you can take the train if you want to. And train's not expensive to go to Norfolk, and they, they were like, oh, even come get you, but I was like, I just don't, not really in the mood to go partying, I've, I've, I haven't partied on New Year's Eve in years, 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 so I've not really, I don't like to do that, uh, it's just like so many stupid people are out those nights and stuff, it's not even the whole driving thing, actually, it probably would be a bad thing, I'm walking home and there's drunk drivers out there, but there's just so many idiots in bars on New Year's Eve and St. Patrick's Day that, to me, those are amateur nights, and I do not want to be around stupid people when they're drunk you know it's bad enough being around stupid people it's bad enough being around drunk people but it's a bad combo Robert Gordino gave me a shout out that he has not taken a flight since 1993 oh so mm. all right uh, I was reading this first comment folks have a great day bye